Hi everybody, this is your boy Darkblade XX of Dark Enforcers Gaming Network, aka Black Hawk Division Leader for DCO. What's going on, Scooch? Let's get it. This is the seventh anniversary events attack of the Anti Monitors video for Hold the Line featuring Shadow Slang. Now this is a video that I did pretty much last year, but there were some audio quality issues during the explanation of how to get the feet, so I wanted to redo it for this year. If you guys have already seen last year's video and you understood it though, however, you don't have to watch this video at all. You guys can just move on. There will be links in the description to other videos you guys can watch. However, those who want to continue, please do. And enjoy. There is no one way of doing any of the feats in this event. Not a single one. This event has many, many, many different ways of doing the feats. Where you're talking about the open world feats or the raid feats. There are many, many different ways of accomplishing those feats. So I don't want you guys to look at this video and think this is the only way to do it. There are many different ways to do it. This video just showcases the way that me and my crew do the feats. All right. With that being said, I'm going to show you guys a couple of items you guys can use to further enhance your effectiveness of getting these feats, especially for this video. All right. So there are many different things you guys can do. This is just one of the most effective ways of getting the feat, so please watch. One of the most important factors to getting this feat, along with other feats inside the raid, are the Qua Bombs or Q Bombs, located right here. See what those look like? All right. These are super effective for getting feats inside the raid. Super effective. They could speed things up greatly. They're not 100% necessary for getting this feat, but they help out immensely. Immensely. I can't stress that enough. What this does is it takes away 40% of the remaining health of whatever you draw it at. Now, keep in mind, this has zero effect on the anti-monitor and zero effect on the giant shadow demons. But this is the raid, so we're really just worried about stuff inside there. So, no effect on the anti-monitor. But this affects the Cordians, the smaller shadow demons, and the antimatter shards, which we're using them on. So if everybody in your group is using these and they're drawing it at the same shard, this will obliterate the health bar of the shard instantly. Instantly. Now, this won't kill it. It's not strong enough to kill it. You're going to have to, you know, tap the range button for your weapon or use a power to get rid of it. But it will take down the health bar so small that you can barely see it which is why it's OP, and that's why we're using it for this feat. Now, you can get these from the solo instance, from doing open world missions, from the raid itself, or pick it up in the seasonal vendor. For two crowns, you can get a pack of 12. I would love to sit here and say that the whole team must have these bombs or you're not getting the feat, but that's just not the case. You can go in here and get the feat without using any bombs whatsoever. But, however, we can't deny the fact that it is just easier. It is so, so much easier if you have these bombs on you. So I want to say at least five people should have bombs on them just to make it a little bit more effective. Think of it as an overkill factor. These are the Exobite Interference Shields. They are also very important, almost as important as the Q-bombs. However, only one person needs to activate them so you don't all have to have it in your loadout. What this is, is this is an eight-man shield one person uses it, we all get the effect. This will cancel out the CC effects of most of the CC in the area and also cancel out the respective CC damage that also comes from being affected by the CC. If you guys don't know what it looks like, I'm going to post a little clip of it right now. This is the effect that you want. It looks like a spear of mini bubbles around you. This is the effect that you want up constantly. Whenever it's not up, put it up. You want this on from the very start of the battle to the end of the raid. Okay. This will cancel out a lot of the interference in the room. Not all CC effects, but most of them. Right. So the most noticeable CC effects that it cancels out is when you're fighting the anti-monitor and he stomps the ground, knocking you back, stopping your rotations and damage. This will stop that from happening. This will also stop when he does a fist pump into the air and a purple beam from his fist hits a few of your teammates leaping up into the air and then doing a massive shot damage, which is sometimes a one shot. This will now cancel that out, which is why it's so important to keep it up always. During this raid, you must fight the anti-monitor twice. During the first fight, taking his health down to the O and anti-monitor, right there, will begin the next phase of the raid, Shadow Demons. 
I'll be giving you and your group some tips and descriptions of how me and my crew do this. Keep in mind that there is no one way of doing anything in this raid. This is just how me and my crew do. As you guys know, the anti-monitor when you're fighting him doesn't actually stand in the center of the room. He stands off to the side. So he's going to be standing right about here. Actually, when you're in the raid. So we're going to form a center around the gray area, not actually around him at all. So you and your group should be standing along this line, which is right between where the gray area meets the dirt. Right about here-ish. So right along this uh, circle, I guess you could say. So what you want to do with your group is you want to space out evenly. Have all eight people on that line facing outwards. So right like this. Yeah, all eight people. Okay, so space out evenly so that you guys can cover an equal amount of area in front of you looking out. Now, not everybody is going to be team DPS. I know that. So like with our group, we have you know all DPSs and a healer. Some groups will have trolls. Some groups will have tanks. That's just how they want to do their stuff. That's cool. With that being said, if you want to do that for this part of the feat, you're going to need to make sure that you don't have support roles standing next to each other. You see, it's all about killing Shadow Demons as fast as possible. When support roles are standing next to each other, it slows down the damage. So, if you wish to have support roles in your group, make sure that on both sides of the support role, there is always a DPS there. So, for instance, let's turn some of these into support roles just for the heck of it. So... Let's put up, you know, a troll, healer, and a tank. So, for instance, we'll just draw three support roles in there. Right, spaced out evenly. No matter where it's at, there is a DPS on both sides of the support role. Alright, so now that we got our spaced out evenly, this is what you're going to do. You're going to face forward and wait for the shadow demons to come to you. Yes, wait for them to come to you. Do not go to them. You don't want to create gaps in this circle. As soon as you create a gap in the circle, you best believe a Shadow Demon is going to spawn and walk right through it and get absorbed by Anti-Monitor. So stay put, wait for them to come to you. Yes, wait for them to come to you. Now the first thing you're going to do is you're going to drill your bomb at the Shadow Demon. Your bomb is powerful enough to not only turn it around when it instantly hits him, he will actually walk several feet away before he even thinks about turning around to walk back towards you. That's how powerful it is. So first thing you're going to do is drill your bomb at it and then do your rotations. So this part actually suits more of a range uh, fighter than a melee fighter. But I digress. This is actually what you're going to do. You're going to draw your bomb and then go to your rotations of doing damage to him. If you have to do melee, then you have to do melee. But try not to move too far away from your spot while you're trying to fight him. Remember, he's not going to like run away, he's going to walk away, so that gives melee fighters even time to even attack. But as I said, try to stay in your area, don't move around, try to cover everybody else's area, because remember, they should be doing their job just like you. If you need to, in your spot while you're staying there, turn to your left, draw a bomb at a Shadow Demon you see on your left side, or draw a bomb to a Shadow Demon you see on your right side. But try to stay in your area, because remember, if you leave your area, who's covering it for you? Alright, try to stay put and shoot outwards towards any people that come towards your area. Alright, now with that being said, with this strategy, you should be able to pass it quite fast and quite easily. However, keep in mind this. This, just like with the charge part, is a luck-based feat. So this right here is really about luck, per se. And that's because, just like with the shards, you could have shadow demons spawn anywhere in here. You could be lucky enough to have them spawn kind of far away so that they're not on top of the anti -miter and you have time to get rid of them. Or you could be really, really unlucky and have them spawn near the anti -miter or even on top of the anti -miter, which means there is no time to do any attacks whatsoever. It's instantly absorbed. Yeah, this is turns into a luck-based feat, but kind of sucks. Sometimes it's really just, did you queue good or did you queue bad? Yeah. You may have to, you can do everything right, and you may just have to just queue it over and hope you get a good queue. Yeah. It kind of sucks. But it's very doable. Don't give up and just keep working at it. Last but not least, remember to keep your shields up. Remember, you are standing next to the anti-monitor. There's going to be a lot of CC effects going off because of him. He's going to try to knock you back in a way so that he can absorb the Shadow Demons. Not only is that, the 
environment itself will try to attack you too. There's going to be pillars of light popping up constantly knocking you away. You want to make sure you have those shields on so that you can cancel out that effect. You do not want to be knocked away when you're supposed to stop a shadow demon and it gets past you because you got blown away. Please keep those shields up. They don't stop all CC effects, but they stop most of them. I'm going. Ah, that no hurt. Your efforts are in vain. I shall devour this planet for eternity. He's just too powerful. We can't beat him like this. Those shadow demons aren't helping the situation. Oh my god, it's just threw me all the way across. Or it's going to get ugly. Oh, well, I guess that's a good one. I used Novichar. No pay for that! I'm getting all types of things. Do you really think you can hurt me? This is as far as you go. There's one right here, and I don't have a fucking thing. Always go around. I'm gonna attack you. He's gonna go this way. Oh my god, I barely got him. As you guys see right there, we have Hold the Line and also Shadow Sling. However, Shadow Sling didn't pop because the group already had it. Now, the uh, definition of Shadow Sling is defeating 20 Shadow Demons in 2 minutes or less. So, yeah, of course we got that feed. Anyway, guys, I really, really, really appreciate you guys for watching this video. Thanks so much. I'll put a link in the description below to a link of other videos that take place during this event so that you guys can watch those if you like. Also, if you guys like this video, be sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. I'm trying to put out tons of videos. Also, if you guys get a chance, check out our other YouTube pages, Black Onibaka and also OSIF. Anyway, guys, this is your boy Darkblade XX at Dark Enforcers Gaming Network, aka Black Hawk Division Leader for DCUO. Dark Enforcers, darkness rises. Holla.